Hey you guys, what's up? It's Maybelline here. Um, today I'm just going to give a little video on the Free Britney movement and things that have happened corresponding with Lutfi's, Sam Lutfi, Britney Spears' old managers and boyfriend's um, testimony and statement. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard to watch considering who we are speaking about because I'm gonna have some evidence at the end that's gonna really shock everybody I think I haven't seen anybody say anything about this and I've waited and waited and I wasn't gonna say anything because it is such a touchy and controversial sh controversial subject ah, controversial subject sorry I can't say that word for anything and um you know, I waited to see if anybody else would post it, but it's kind of a big deal and kind of groundbreaking to the whole Lutfi versus Spears family. Um, conspiracy, but really not conspiracy because it's really happening type thing that's going on right now. Um, it, it's going to have a little bit of distressing content, and it's going to be hard to watch for some viewers. I'm just wanting you know that if... You know, if it's gonna make you feel like you want to, you know, do something something that's stupid or drastic, just take a deep breath and calm down about it because it is kind of serious. It is kind of, you know, gross, disgusting, I should say. But um, it's something that we all need to see and all need to know the truth about. And it's coming out of Britney Spears's own mouth. It's not, you know. He said, she said, um, so yeah, here it is. It's in the middle of the year, and, um, I decided I wanted to sing again, and it was really weird that my entertainment lawyer from New York, he called me up, and he was like, come to New York, so I had to fly to New York by myself for the day, which is a big deal when you're, you know, like, 15. Um, can we please discuss the fact that she was flown to New York by herself when she was 15 years old? Please? Yes, maybe, because that is not okay. Not even for a 16 year old to f like that's no. But we will continue and carry on with the video and see what else she has to say. So I flew to New York and um, I sang for several different record labels. And um, it was just really, really nerve wracking because it was like all these people just staring there, looking at you saying, well, I wonder what she can do, you know? And then after that day was over with, it was like, oh, thank goodness. And I flew out that, you know, that same day. And it's also very aggravating that they cut her off right there when she said, flew her out that same day, like she was going to say it a second time, or was that just a mess up in their video editing? And they added the wrong clip twice, or they did it on purpose, or did she actually say it twice? Like, but the only way that we would know is if she was actually flying to another location after the New York location. So let's continue and see. Two weeks after the failed audition, Larry Rudolph received a phone call from Jive Records, who wanted to explore her vocals and highly commercial image. After a second audition for Jive's executives, Britney was signed to the label. She immediately flew to Sweden to record her. I slowed it down and put an emphasis on the part where she says that she had been flown out to Sweden because if you read here, it says, You are my family and you have every right to be concerned by my actions, but I still to this day feel like you guys went overboard by sending me away on a 16 hour flight that neither you or Mama really looked into. Okay. Uh, I, if you see here, the capital of Sweden is. Stockholm and I know this because I was a tour coordinator and um, we had to learn all of our capitals for our European countries so let's see how far it takes or how far it is from New York to Sweden it's a 15 hour and 30 minute flight now that's just the capital of Sweden so they could have been anywhere in that area so this is just approximately because I don't know where she's flown to but 15 Regardless, this is a 16-hour flight, approximately. And let's look back at the email. It says, I still to this day feel like you guys went overboard by sending me away on a 16-hour flight that neither you or Mama really looked into. See, after my divorce, the biggest mistake I made was letting Larry walk into my hotel room, which that could mean anything. But here's the rest of the email if you want to look at it. 
and you know read it for yourself um Now let's take a look at the man that started all of this, Dan Lefty, and how he feels about this rebrand movement since he was initially the first person to bring light to it. Here's a few interviews of him discussing the Free Britney movement. Are you leading right now? Uh, I sh I'm not the one to answer that, but uh, maybe you should ask her that. Yeah. You know, it'd be kind of cool if you guys were able to talk to her. Wouldn't that be cool? No, that'd be cool. If she was cool. able to talk, 27-year-old, yeah. can't really speak, well, her doesn't have a cell phone. <laughs> Can't see her friends. Well, uh, don't you think? 27 year old touring the whole world? Yeah. No? Well, you know, she's making money for everybody. She's profit. making money for everyone but herself, maybe. She's not really concerned with money, you know? Yeah. Right? He's not that type of person, so. Oh, really? No. She's a, she's a normal sweetheart, mother of two, 27 year old, you know? Very successful superstar. Uh, can't have a phone and go where she wants and see who it's she wants. Like, I think that's a little unfair, don't you think? It's almost like slavery, modern day slavery. Don't you think? Almost. Sounds like it. Well, you know, maybe maybe instead of you guys getting your info from other people, you should try to get a hold of her yourself and see what she has to say. I think you guys would be rather uh, pretty surprised. If she talked to us, I would definitely feel If she was allowed to. She was allowed I'm to. I'm sure she would love to talk to you guys. Yeah. But uh, she's not allowed to. Do you think she's more miserable now than she was back Absolutely. Then? Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, she, must, but she must be going through a lot of hard stuff right now. Well, wouldn't you if you weren't able to go anywhere and do whatever you wanted and govern constantly and you notice there's no friends around, it's just assistants and agents and come on guys, two years of this, it's a little nonsense, you know, I mean, where they're going to, you know, place all the, the, everything on these allegations that the parents uh, made about me, which are all false, you know, and I think uh, we'll see that in court soon. You know, those are horrendous allegations those people made. Uh, unfortunate circumstances, you know. Talking about drugging people, to the contrary, you know. Uh, so you did not, nothing of the case? God, no. Never. No. Sam, are you in the contact with it if, the, if it gets lifted? Or? I, I, I can't answer that, but uh, I wouldn't see why not. She's still a good friend of mine. Hope we'll see you guys soon, someday, soon. Yeah, you know, exactly. Under different circumstances where she can talk to you guys and wave and say hi, like you know, any other artist or any other normal person in America. Give us a call if she's ready to talk with you. Yeah. Hi, why don't you guys try calling her? You guys seem to be in contact with her people. You know, why don't you ask to put her on the phone? Yeah, exactly. Or maybe right. they're a little frightened from what she Farm might say. Anybody. She never threatened a soul. So for this to happen and get this type of conservatorship and if, and if she doesn't follow the orders, they'll take her kids away. Uh, it's, when does somebody kind of wake up and question this? All right. It's, they, they pegged me as a target. It's a for all year, in fact, her mom writes a book, just complete, utter lies. So, I mean, this woman's just trying to be a rock star herself. So, you know, you look at Lynn, not a role model mom. She's a lot of problems. Her own substance abuse issues. Ask any of the kids, okay? Uh, and I'm not one to, to mudsling in the past, but there's a point here where I have to constantly defend myself. And old, it gets tired. Never done a drug in my life. There's not a soul on this planet that'll ever come forth to you guys and say that I've ever done a drug. I've maybe. Okay. 
Uh, do you have something to say to X17 and the Yard fans? Yes, first I want to say hey to all my fans, and I can't wait for all of my stuff to come out. I'm really, really excited. And also, I just want to say that um, I'm just really, really shocked at like how nice our world is. So nice always, Brittany. Thank you for everything. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank I really you. appreciate to take a picture from you and everything. <laughs> and everything from your life, yeah, all the X17 fans. I'm going to have to hire you. almost killed her and he is involved in a lawsuit with Brittany and wants to take her deposition and the parents especially Jamie wants to make sure Sam doesn't even sit in the same room so they file these documents trying to block Sam from going in the room now Mike I don't know if you're there but we should get into this because this is this is actually a really stunning thing and also to me very weird that this was filed but yes. why don't you explain well basically with the legal part there was an order issued by the appeals court because that lawsuit you're describing went to the appeal the point is there was an order written by judges uh, which is a year ago a year ago uh, oh yeah exactly a year ago written by them describing the, uh, the facts of the case well I worked on this with you Harvey for years and actually when it happened years ago when it happened and I had never seen this before somebody taking this strong of a stance on what was wrong with Britney Spears and again this is coming from the judges the appellate judges right. in California as a matter of fact so they were stating this as fact absolutely after hearing both sides so uh, basically what they said was at the time that Sam Lefty met Britney Spears which is in 2007 that she was a drug abuser and, and it got to a point where when she met Sam Lefty according to this document that the judges wrote Sam told her it's important that you get clean so whatever was going on with Britney and this was the time when we all saw Britney start to go downhill and they described that she was going through a divorce a child custody battle and the drugs were a major influence on her life so I had never seen Harvey as long as we worked on Britney Spears it ended up she had some mental illness they treated her they had a conservatorship but they're, 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 they're running into these drug issues they are clear and that, that way, was the major issue at the time and by the way saying that Sam Levy said I'll manage you but one of the conditions is A you don't use drugs and B that I'm able to use drug sniffing dogs to make sure you stay clean and I can tell you that when this was happening that's what Sam Lefty was saying the entire time that he was brought in by Britney to help her get clean and then get her life on track and I have to tell you Harvey after reading that document from the judges that's exactly what it says well, I know but her parents claim we should quickly orders. explain what the parents are saying. The parents are saying that it is the opposite, that Sam Lefty was fueling her with drugs and that he almost killed her. And there has been fighting and lawsuits and bitterness so, so there for years. And filing these documents was they want to make it clear that Sam was such a negative influence on Britney, she shouldn't be forced to sit in yeah, the same room Charles, with him for this. They get into that so deep that they think it's such a bad situation for Sam to be around her, which he says he has the right to do. They don't even want him to be able to look her in the eyes. That even if he can't talk to her and he's ordered to stay away from her during the deposition, they want him in a completely different room and for them to use uh, audiovisual like cameras, live stream, so they can be involved in it, but they say he would intimidate her, he will harass her, no matter if he's even allowed to talk to her. So they're saying, like you said, Harvey, how much they think he's a problem. But I gotta say, go back for one second. They say that it was so bad at one point in 2007 that Britney Spears, after she lost custody of both of her kids, she slept in a parking lot. Like, I just never knew it was that bad, guys. Hey guys, this is Nisa from Atlanta. First off, I wanted to say, we knew it was that bad. Anytime a woman shaves off so much of her hair, like all of it, you can't even put weave in it, you know Britney was in a bad place. But I never thought I'd be saying this, but it actually sounds like Sam Lefty was telling the truth all those times. That's weird, and I think he actually might win this case because clearly everything he was saying back then, the documents are supporting what he was saying. Yeah, I, I gotta tell you, I don't think these documents are the end-all and be-all. And, and I think it's the weirdest thing these lawyers put this in. Uh, it made no sense to me, makes no sense to me now why her lawyers put it in. But I don't think because those judges said that a year ago, that is necessarily the posting almost well definitely daily and sometimes multiple times a day different videos of herself dancing uh she talks about music that she likes and it's entertaining to a point but some of her fans feel that what it really is is a cry for help and that means that the free britney campaign is back in full force online so what they're really saying again and this is what they said before a couple years ago is that um britney's dad jamie who has had been the conservator of her estate for 12 years now um that he is holding her against her will that she should be let go um there is this thing where they say if you wear pink uh then it means you're being it's, it's like when they put it right in the back of a car you know in, with with the dirt help that's what they're saying the pink constitutes that right but they also they, they say almost every color so that no matter what she comes out in it looks like she is 
crying for help. Yeah, so basically fans have been posting comments on all her videos, photos, saying, Brittany, if you need help, wear the color pink. If you need help, wear the color black. Like, show us a sign that you are being held against your will. So, of course, when she posted this dance video wearing pink shorts with black polka dots, all the people that asked for her to wear those colors are going nuts, saying, you guys, this is a sign. And in her dance movements, people are also breaking down the movement, saying that she's doing sign language, no, which, you know, is the top two fingers coming down on the thumb. People are saying that they see that in her dance moves, saying, like, no, I'm not okay, along with this movement, saying, no, I'm not okay. So people are pointing that out, as well as her recent photo was a photo of her wearing all black. So you have these fans now that believe these are signs. What does that mean? They're just saying, like, since you can't tell us that you're not okay and that you're being oh held God. against your will, we need to ask you for signs where the people that are holding you okay. won't know that you're okay. telling us you need help. Okay, so, look, here's the deal. I mean, this comes up from time to time. There are people who have been kind of, like, you know, launching this movement. You know, over the years, I will tell you this. I do know something about this. Look, she is not doing well. And, you know, I think you can see it, but she has not been doing well for a while now, actually for several years. And, you know, she's struggling with the condition and it's really sad. And part of this had to do with her medic, a lot of it had to do with her medications, that they were losing their efficacy. But they have been, there have been issues w for several years now. And it's one of the reasons why Kevin has the kids the majority of the time. And it's sad. And, and there was an issue. That said, the conservatorship is not just Jamie Spears. There are doctors, there are lawyers, there is a judge. It is a whole big team where everything gets signed off on by the judge um and jamie can't do this and the fact is britney's got issues she's not well and you know they're doing the best they can under a difficult situation i'm not saying they're handling it perfectly because jamie got into it with one of britney's sons and that was bad um and you know it's not that they haven't misstepped but they also there's only so much they can do because right. she is a yeah I, I mean what i just don't understand what the movement if the movement is free britney as in remove the conservatorship I think it's pretty obvious that the conservatorship is still necessary so it's vital i mean yeah. look, there are oh, i have talked to people you know just over the years if britney didn't have this conservatorship britney might not be alive today i mean it, it, this is a really serious situation and they, and if you remember back when this was created britney was circling the drain oh absolutely it was desperate where jamie thought he was gonna get a call from the coroner so that got turned around it's been more difficult for the last couple of years but this is just not somebody being held whether she and she may not love the conservatorship and she doesn't but at the same time again there are a lot of eyes on this hi sign from new york city i think checks and balances are needed she's almost 40 um regular physical mental health checks but at some point she should be given her money when all is well and good i hope that's sooner rather than later but all the same she deserves a chance by the way it's not just money i mean there is there are two elements to it one is money that's not what people are talking about they're talking about the personal conservatorship